Hey guys and what is up? This is a video from Rage Productions and today I'm showing you how to make a colour correction. So let's get started. Let me just bring in a render here to Photoshop. A bit pixelated. Alright, let's get stuck into this. So the first thing to making a colour correction is basically right here this is everything you need to make a color correction and if you want pattern fills and all that that's somewhere else but yeah just for now this is pretty much it here all this now let's show you so the first thing is brightness and contrast actually we'll go by the most important things first so the curves this is probably the best thing in a color correction so as you can see when you turn it up brightness turn it down darkness and contrast so the best way to have this is down a little bit put this one up a little bit now if we close this take away brightness and contrast and we just take that off put it on it just contrasts it make it a little bit better and yeah the next most important thing would be brightness and contrast again it's pretty much the same thing but you can pretty much change it let me just turn that one off you can pretty much change it more contrast less i generally have it a little bit more in darkness a little bit more we'll see down like that but yeah if you're doing sort of lighter white you want up a bit but yeah like that and the next big thing is color so the best way to do color here is gradient map and pick a color it doesn't matter what color at all i'm gonna go with blue and black or a different color blue Okay, close this and obviously that doesn't look good, but go down here, go to here, and there we go, it's changed from the lightness, everything's still the same, but just changes the colour. And if you click on your brush tool, up here, black erases it, and white puts it back on. So. So here you can be very, very creative. So if that's all blue, and we add a gradient gradient map. Oh, let me just keep it as pink. Put that on here. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, it's on the bright. whoops -a -doo. And now if we just change that to black, array this whole top bit here and put the bottom one on there's a double color you can do that as many times as you want or if you're going for two tone just delete these new layer go to your brush tool so you want oh, I'll just, so you want just the T just got this then you want green let's hide over this and you want blue for the A and you want there's purple there's purple I don't know, this doesn't really matter, but um, lighter green. And again, just change these to hue. And there you go, all different colours. Yeah, another thing up here that is really helpful is let me just find it. Hue and saturation. This is another big one, I'm sorry I didn't do this before, but um, you can obviously change the, cup, the hue, but wait, let me untick them, you can change the colour by just doing this as well, but the main thing in this is the saturation, so the saturation just brings out the colours more, 100 is way too much, but 
it's pretty good if you put it to like say 20 or 10 or I don't know but oh it depends on your opinion the lightness is obviously how bright and how dark I normally put this to a bit darker depends what sort of style you're going for really but then you can change colour oh looks pretty good there and as you can see without that it does look a lot better and it looks a lot better in general with other stuff. So, is there anything else here? Oh, yeah, that's right. Forgot to say something. Um, what is it? Layer. Pattern. So, here we go, just a new pattern layer. And so, you just want that or something like that. Any. Any sort of pattern you need, go that and just go overlay. And again, same thing over here, black gets rid of it, so if you want to get rid of the whole outside here, or even if you do like it, I don't know. Yeah, again, it's all up to you. However, you like your stylist. And this does look really good with like sideways lines. So yeah. Um, I think that's done. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded for a few, uh, for about a week. If you stay updated with my channel. But yeah, I've just been busy camping and stuff. So yeah. Thanks for watching, drop a like if you're going to use this and if it helps, comment what you thought, subscribe for more and see ya.